We live in a world of color. From birds with vividly colored plumage, to brightly colored uniforms and costumes, color can attract our attention and entertain us. Color plays a part in our games and in our social lives, helping to make things exciting and beautiful. Color can play an important part in many of our decisions about footwear, clothes, even sunglasses. Color is used in advertisements and on the products that line supermarket shelves. Color can make food look good or bad. Color can be used to represent different countries and teams. Color helps us identify the seasons of the year. At the end of the day, when sunlight disappears, artificial light helps us see colors. When lights fade, colors dim. Ready? Here it goes. Take a look. Pretty. Wow. Isn't it that? Oh, it's rainbow. Wow. Do you notice the way they blend? Something? White light is a mixture of all colors. When it passes through a three-sided piece of glass called a prism, mm -hmm. the white light separates into the colors of a rainbow. This is called the color spectrum. The color spectrum contains red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Spell the name Roy G. Biv to help you remember the first letter of each color in the spectrum. Sunlight is a mixture of all the colors of a rainbow. With the sun at your back, you can make your own rainbow with a water spray. There are many ways to separate white light into a spectrum of colors. The many colors of light make up what we call the visible spectrum because we can see the colors with our eyes. The visible spectrum is just a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which also includes invisible radio waves, X-rays, infrared and ultraviolet light. Just beyond the color violet on the visible spectrum is ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light is invisible to humans, but some insects can see it. Even though our eyes cannot see ultraviolet light, we can detect it with special ultraviolet photography. Some flowers have patterns that bees can see with their ultraviolet vision. This may help attract the bees. On a sunny day, or even on a cloudy one, the effects of ultraviolet light can be seen. Too much ultraviolet light may cause sunburn. On the other side of the visible spectrum, next to the color red, is infrared, another kind of invisible light. Infrared light is felt as heat. 
With a special kind of photography, invisible infrared light can be made visible to us. We can detect objects of different temperatures. Each color represents a different temperature, and black represents the coldest. All right, we're going to put these slides into the projectors. Great. We need the room dark for this to be a good experiment. I want you to turn your projector on. What color? Red. Green. Blue. Okay, let's go. Let's take a look. Nice, clear colors. Now, we're going to be mixing a couple of them together. How about if you turn your projector just a little bit, Jesse, and see if you can overlap that green. Let's when you mix, mix together light of different colors, you can make still green. other colors. Red and green light mix to make yellow. Can you move yours, Aura, the blue? Blue and green light mix to make turquoise. Oh, look at that color. That's pretty. I like it. We're going to mix all three of these colors together toward the center, and what do you think we're going to get? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I've no well, let's, let's try it. Ah, hey, what do you have? Red, green, and blue are called the primary colors of light because when you mix them together in equal amounts, you get white. I'm going to give each one of you a magnifying glass. When I tell you to pause, we're going to stop when I think there's an area with good color. Wait for a minute. Stop. Did you know that red, green, and blue are the same colors that color televisions use to reproduce all the colors? Can you find them? Color television sets make all colors of the rainbow with tiny rectangles of red, green, and blue light. Yeah. What do you see? Lots of blue and red and green. Are they all mixed together in equal amounts or different amounts? Different mm. amounts. Mm, yeah, different amounts. Remember, what are the colors that they're mixing together? What dots? Red, green, and blue. Mixing paints will make different colors, but the colors you get are not the same as you get from mixing light. play an important part in the work of artists and craftspeople. The colors that we see are the colors in white light that reflect off things around us. You can make a simple device called a photometer, which will prove that objects are reflecting the colors we see. In this experiment, we're going to be using the photometers that you people made. We're going to be shining a white light from the projector against colored cards and we're going to see what happens with a photometer. We're going to need to have a dark room. Anya, would you turn the light off for me? Okay. Or you need to turn on that projector for us. And I'm going to lift up this white card right here. Can you see, Ryan? Yes. Yeah. And take... White light is a mixture of all colors. Why is it white? When it reflects off a white card, the photometer glows white. So what does that photometer tell you? about the color of that card. Card's white. Good. All right, take a look now. Tell me what the photometer's telling you. A red object reflects the red in white light, so the photometer glows red. All right, look at this. The color of an object is the color of the light it reflects. The object absorbs all the colors of light except the ones it reflects. What's being reflected? Yellow color. The yellow color in the white light. Yellow things reflect the yellow in white light. Red reflects red. And blue reflects blue. Good. Good. 
Oh, that's enough. Now, this is a white light, and you know white light has all the colors in it. Now, would you lift up these two cards for me, guys? A white object reflects all the colors of light that hit it, and black absorbs all the colors of light. We're going to use the filter ones that you people made. The red one first. We can change the color of white light with a piece of red cellophane. What's it doing? The white color turned red. And what is it doing with the light? Absorbing or reflecting? Reflecting. The red light is reflected by a white card, so the card seems red. A black card absorbs the red light, so it stays black. Anya, would you put that one up? We can try the same experiment with green light. The white card right? reflects yeah. the green light, so it seems green. But the black card absorbs the green light and stays black. White reflects all colors of light, and black absorbs all colors of light. When an object absorbs light, it becomes warmer. The water in the black and white containers starts out at about the same temperature. After 10 minutes in the sun, the water in the white container is still about the same temperature, since white reflects the light that hits it. But the black container absorbs light so the water inside it gets warmer. In a similar way, on a sunny day, you will feel cooler in a white shirt than a black one. The white shirt reflects light, but the black shirt absorbs light. Would you bring everything over, please? Okay. Now we're going to be doing an experiment on reflection and absorption. Zach, would you turn off the light for us? Okay. Jesse, turn the light on, please. Thank you. Now, the white light has all the colors of the spectrum in it. The reason that we see an apple looking red is because it reflects the red in the white light. It absorbs all the other colors the green ball, the green plant, they all reflect what color? They, refl they reflect the green, green but absorb the other colors. Good for you. Or would you pick up the red one that you made and slide it very slowly up in front of the light? When red light shines on green objects, the objects look black. The green objects absorb all colors of light except green. Since red light contains no green in it, all the light falling on the object is absorbed. No light is reflected, and the objects look black. Jesse, would you pick up your green wand that you made, and I want you to do the same thing that Orr did. Slide it on carefully now. When green light shines on red objects, the objects look black. The red objects can reflect only red light. The green light is absorbed. No light is reflected, and the objects seem to be black. I wouldn't want to eat that apple. <laughs> Her face looks like it got painted. <laughs> we look like we dumped ourselves in green paint. When colored lights reflect off our skin, the color of our skin seems to change. Color is useful for warning. To control traffic. To help us find a barber shop file and sort information, and to indicate electrical connections. Color is
is part of the fun of video games. Color helps sell products in supermarkets and in magazines. Toys also use color to interest and attract us. White light contains all the colors of the visible spectrum. The visible spectrum is just a small part of the entire electromagnetic spectrum, which includes invisible ultraviolet and infrared light. Red, blue, and green light are all primary colors. They can be combined to make all the colors of the rainbow. The colors that we see are the colors of light reflected from objects. All other colors are absorbed. White objects reflect all colors of light, and black objects absorb all colors of light. As we understand more about color, we can see our world in a whole new light.